Numbers 23:19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Numbers 23:19. Deuteronomy 31:8. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Deuteronomy 31.8 Nehemiah 8.10 Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Psalm 27.1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Psalm 46, 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalm 46, 1 and 2. Psalm 119, 89. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Psalm 119, 89. Psalm 138, 2. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Psalm 138, 2. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Isaiah 10, 27. Malachi 3, 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3, 6. Matthew 22, 29. Jesus answered and said to them, you are mistaken, not knowing the scripture nor the power of God. Matthew 22, 29. Mark 10, 27. But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Mark 10, 27. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. John 10, 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10, 10. John 17, 17. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. John 17:17. 17, 17. Romans 8:2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8:2. Romans 8:11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. Romans 8:11. 2 Corinthians 2:14. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. 2 Corinthians 2:14. Galatians 2:20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 Galatians 3.13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Galatians 3.13 Colossians 2:10 And you are complete in him 
who is the head of all principality and power. Colossians 2.10 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 Hebrews 1.3 Jesus, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Hebrews 1.3 Hebrews 13.8 Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13.8 1 John 4.4 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. Exodus 23, 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Exodus 23, 25. Deuteronomy 7, 15. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness. Deuteronomy 7, 15. Psalm 91, 10. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Psalm 91.10 Psalm 103, 2-4 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Psalm 103, 2-4 Psalm 107.20 He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Psalm 107.20 Psalm 118.17 I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Psalm 118.17 Proverbs 4.20-22 My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Isaiah 55:11 So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what i please and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it Isaiah 55:11 Jeremiah 30:17 For i will restore health to you and heal you of all your wounds says the lord Jeremiah 30:17 Matthew 8, 17, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17. Matthew 10, 1. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Matthew 10, 1. Romans 8.2 For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8.2 James 5.14 and 15 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins he will be forgiven. James 5, 14 and 15. 1 Peter 2, 24. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2, 24. 3 John 1, 2. 
Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. 3 John 1, 2 Job 22, 28 You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. Job 22, 28 Psalm 103, 20 Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Psalm 103, 20 Proverbs 12, 18 There is one who speaks like the piercing of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. Proverbs 12, 18 Proverbs 16, 23 and 24 the heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 16, 23 and 24. Proverbs 18, 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. Proverbs 18, 7. Proverbs 18, 20. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Proverbs 18.20 Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18.21 Isaiah 54.17 no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17 Isaiah 57, 19 I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace be to him who is far off, and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. Isaiah 57, 19. Amos 3, 3. Can two walk together unless they are agreed? Amos 3, 3. Matthew 15, 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. Matthew 15, 18. Mark 11, 23 and 24. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that these things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask for when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Hebrews 10:23. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 James 3.6 And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. James 3.6 Revelation 12:11 And they overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death Revelation 12:11